I'm Renee Rawls, and I love sharing my story with others who's living with obesity just like me. It's a disease. Who would ever thought obesity is a disease? Well, New Amsterdam, they decided to air an episode this past season indicating that obesity is a disease. I was thrilled. I was beyond happy. My family was happy, my friends. My son was just so proud of me that he even posted it on his Facebook page and said, mama, mama, pe people really hear you. They really understand and they really know. Well, New Amsterdam, you got it. Do you, um, do you remember the patient you referred to me? Yeah, Louise Galena. Galena, yeah. So despite Substantial physical and emotional suffering. Insurance, in their infinite wisdom, has decided not to cover her skin removal surgery. They're calling it cosmetic. Cosmetic. It's just like... <laughs> if you had a breast cancer patient who needed a mastectomy, insurance would cover that, plus the reconstructive surgery after, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because with cancer, insurance pays to finish the job. But Louise has been just abandoned halfway through a treatment, because even though obesity is a disease, it still isn't treated like one. Then let's give her cancer. What? I am thrilled. I am beyond thrilled to honor and give you this award. Your voice carries weight, and it did, and it's still doing it. And I thank you. Congratulations. And my heart is so happy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> First, I'll show this amazing. Um, thank you to the Creative Coalition and to Novo Nordisk for this incredible honor. Uh, at New Amsterdam, we always strive to find moving, incredible stories that need to be shared. And believe me, uh, it's a team effort from our brilliant creator, David Schulner, to our amazing producers and our staff of writers, our wonderful cast, and our incredible crew. We are all deeply, deeply honored by this. Thank you very, very much. Tyler? Yes, Aaron. <laughs> um, I, uh, I just wanted to say thank you as well. Uh, this means so much to us all. And uh, this storyline in particular for me personally hit really close to home. Um, and so I'm just really, really humbled to be part of a show that shines a light on things that are so often left in the dark. And, and a show that actually makes an impact in the real world for real people. And that, that means a lot to all of us. So thank you, we'll cherish this award forever. Congratulations, everyone. Um, great job. Now we'd also like to welcome actor and executive producer Peter Horton and actors, as you already met, Tyler, Jocko Sims, and Janet Montgomery, and of course, Renee Rawls, who you've just met. So tonight's show from the Creative Coalition is about honoring and supporting television talent and industry leaders who use their voices to affect a positive social change. And that's why everyone is seated right here with me now. So let's talk, uh, Aaron, let's talk about discovering Renee's storyline. Um, what resonated with you and when did you say, you know what, this belongs on the show? Yeah, it's interesting. I was brought to the Creative Coalition dinner in LA as a guest. I was a plus one. I wasn't even supposed to be there. I just went for the, for the meal uh, and I had no idea what to expect. And it was this evening about the disease of obesity, which I didn't know much about and Renee spoke and I was captivated by her. She is um, an incredible human being and her story just moved me. And I left there so inspired and I knew I had to find a way to translate what I had learned and what I discovered that evening into a story that would fit into our show, into New Amsterdam. So, so Renee, what was going on in your life during this time period that we see on the show? I felt that Aaron hurt me. And I also listen to other people doing my journey. And I'm like, wow, New Amsterdam, they got it. They got it. And my hat goes off to everyone who played a part in this. So each episode you tackle, it's life-changing topics in an educational yet entertaining way. So what does it feel like to be honored for your work on this episode, Janet? Uh, it's an incredible feeling to be honest. Um, I don't think I've ever been on a show that's had as much success and as many people uh, respond to it. So 
yeah, I kind of didn't know if I would get my chance. I think it's every actor's dream to be on something that people really connect to and that people really enjoy as well. So yeah, it feels amazing. David, what was it like working with the Creative Coalition on the issue of health? And how do you work with real life people and other organizations to bring these stories to life? Well, having Peter be such a big part of the Creative Coalition, I'm gonna turn this over to him. <laughs> there you go, Peter. Uh, well done, David, thank you. Um, Peter? Yes. Um, you know, uh, one of the great things about our show, which we're, we're so proud of, um, is that we get to talk about issues that are relevant to our culture and our society every episode. Um, you know, the Creative Coalition is something that you know, Robin Bronk and I have been charging windmills for, for decades. Um, starting back in 2001, when she pulled me back to Washington, D.C. and had me testify in front of Congress about uh, education funding um, and made me sound a lot smarter than I should have on that subject matter. Uh, to going back to another event in 2009 for another series called The Philanthropist where I actually got to meet uh, the Obama's dog, Bo. So there's, there's a, lot of a, a, real, a lot of good things that come out of working with the Creative Coalition. Um, but they're kind of ideally suited for us because they, they are, their, their mission statement is really uh, exactly what ours is, which is to try and shed light on issues that matter, that have impact. They're so important to talk about in this day and age. And they're so helpful. It's such a great resource for us to not only connect with people like Renee, who have such great stories to tell, um, but just the issues themselves to be able to interface with us and help us unpack them so that we can find stories in them like, like Aaron did on this one. We know obesity is a disease that's not treated like other diseases. Jocko, what did you learn about obesity that you didn't know before? Well, yeah, we do in this country hear a lot about uh, this disease. Um, uh, I still don't think there's uh, much of an emphasis, as much as we need uh, to hear about it. But what I discovered on this episode, where uh, when the character, she started talking about uh, self uh, hurting herself. And that's when, you know, you got to think of other things. It's not just the, the physical aspects um, that uh, affect uh, a person who's struggling with obesity, their life, but it's also the mental toll that it takes. And um, so this was, that was very eye opening for me. And uh, it, was, it was great to be a part of that. David, what kind of responsibility do you feel when you're bringing these stories to life? You don't want it to be, you know, sensational. You want it to be real, but you also have to be entertaining. It's, there's been a couple stories, there's, there's only been about two stories, I think, over the last two and a half years that we, we tried to tackle and couldn't, because most shows, it's not enough for us to highlight an issue, which is important, but we want to offer something. We want to bring something to the, to the table on the issue that's not just awareness, but part of what the show does best because we have so many doctors on staff and so many doctors as resources, we want to actually show a solution to a problem. It's not enough for us to just say, this is a problem, but we want to show how you could tackle it. If bureaucracy wasn't an issue, if red tape wasn't an issue, if courage wasn't an issue. So for us, there's only been a few things that we haven't been able to, actually with all our resources find a great solution for so that, i think that says a lot about the people that we work with and that solutions are out there you just have to you just have to think out of the box and you just have to look for them and you have to be willing to to risk failing in order to achieve something and lastly peter you've obviously as we've already talked about, you've traveled to Washington with the Creative Coalition. That's a pretty big stage. It's a little different stage than you're used to. What was your impression going testifying before Congress and being a part of the Creative Coalition? I was so nervous. I was like <laughs> deeply nervous. It's, it's one thing to to get up and perform as a as you know an actor or even if as a director getting out on a stage and 
but but going to Washington D.C. with all of its its symbolism, at least this is a little a little while ago, so it's it's shifted a bit since then. But um, you know, to to see the pomp and the the architecture, and you know, you you walk into a room, you sit in a chair below this big, massive sort of wooden desk filled with these representatives all dressed up kind of like Tyler. And, um, and you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to talk about something that you haven't spent your life with. In this case, it was, you know, funding for education. This was in 2001, so it was George Bush, right after George Bush had gotten in, right before 9-11, um, believe it or not. And the thing that, you know, I hadn't really thought a lot about it since then. I mean, I had sort of done it and then moved on, but Robin sent me an article right before this this event so I could refresh my memory and it had a bunch of quotes for me and I I sounded really smart about it and I and I realized how well the creative coalition had prepped me for it um, they really didn't just throw me out there and say good luck um, <laughs> they they have this skill um, to sort of take people like us who have passion but not a whole lot of in-depth knowledge on an issue, but still prepare us enough so that we don't make idiots of ourselves. So, so that was the beginning of my relationship with the Creative Coalition, and it's it's um, it's only continued thereafter. It's a great, great organization. Well, congratulations to new to New Amsterdam for receiving the Creative Coalition's Your Voice Carries Weight Award tonight. And as we know, you are receiving this award because you're following the Creative Coalition's mantra, which is educating, mobilizing, and activating its members on issues of public importance. So thank you and congratulations.